Greetings and welcome to our channel. It's a beautiful rainy morning outside and today we have Moto Edge 50 Pro smartphone and in this video I'll show you some amazing tips and tricks and hidden feature of this smartphone. So watch till the end and enjoy this video. If you want to increase the charging speed of your smartphone then there's a feature of charge boost in this smartphone. To enable this simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on battery. Again scroll down there you will see the option of charge boost click on this and enable this now it will speed up your charging speed but keep in mind it will heat up your phone little bit as well you can use two application at the same time in a single screen by the next feature the features name is split screen to enable this simply go to your settings scroll down and then click on gestures there you will see the option of swipe to split click on this and enable swipe to split now whenever you are using any app simply swipe from left and right it will open the split screen now select the second app you want to use that's how you can use two application at the same time in a single screen there's another way by which you can use split screen simply open any app and put it in recent and then click on apps icon there you will see the option of split top and then select the second app that's how you can use two application at the same time in a single screen you can launch your camera by just double pressing your power button to enable this feature, simply go to your settings, scroll down and then click on gestures, scroll down and then click on press, double press power key. There by default it is selected on none, you have to select launch camera. Now whenever you will double press your power button, it will automatically launch your camera app. If you want to show your battery percentage in your status bar, you have to go to your settings, scroll down and then click on battery. Scroll to the bottom there you will see the option of battery percentage. Enable this now it will start showing battery percentage in your status bar. This phone comes with 144Hz of refresh rate but by default it is selected to auto. To get to the maximum benefit of this smartphone you have to select it 144Hz. For that you have to go to your settings, scroll down and then click on display. Again scroll down there you will see the option of display refresh rate. Click on this. And now select the 144 hertz that is the smoothest and the highest uh, refresh rate of the smartphone keep in mind this will consume your battery little more but uh, this will give you the best performance as well when it comes to customization motorola take the game to the next level i will show you some of the amazing customization and personalization features the first one is changing the fingerprint animation to change it simply tap and hold on the home screen and then click on personalize scroll down there you will see the option of fingerprint animation click on this now you can select your favorite one after that whenever you will use the fingerprint it will show the specific animation this feature of edge lighting as well you can change the color you can set the time and you can set the apps you want to use uh, for edge lighting to check it out simply tap and hold on the home screen and then click on personalize scroll down there you will see the edge lighting now you can select your favorite color as this phone comes with curved display edge lighting looks really cool you can select uh, for which you want to enable edge lighting you can select incoming calls alarm app notification you can also set a time or set a schedule for edge lighting as well the shape of the icon of the application for this simply tap and hold on the home screen click on personalize there you will see the option of icon shape click on this now select your favorite one for example I want this circular one then click on save after that it will change the sh shape of the icon of the application you can also change the color of uh, these app icons for that again tap and hold on the home screen and then click on personalize and then click on colors now you can select uh, the color you want to use and then click on themed icon as well for example i want to keep it to the purple then click on save you will see the apps icons colors is changed and in your status bar uh, the control panel's color is also changed so you can also explore this feature 
By default, you can't click a screenshot by using your three fingers and swiping down. But there is another gesture. Again, you have to use your three fingers, but tap and hold on the screen to click a screenshot. That's how you can click a screenshot. The next feature is attentive display. So whenever you are looking at the phone, it will detect your face and it will not turn off your screen. So to enable this, simply go to your settings, scroll down and then click on display. Again, scroll down there, you will see the option of screen timeout. Click on this and on the bottom, you will see the option of attentive display. Simply enable this, then it will prevent your screen from turning off. If you are looking at it, it will detect your face and it will prevent your screen from turning off. Let's talk about some of the amazing gestures that comes with this smartphone. Let's explore these one by one. Open your settings and scroll down there. You will see the option of gestures. Firstly, you can change from three button navigation to gesture navigation. Simply click on navigation mode and then select the navigation gesture navigation. Now you can use this gesture navigation instead of the default three button navigation. The next one is sidebar. This will help you multitask and open your favorite app anywhere very efficiently. Firstly, you have to click on sidebar and then click on use sidebar enable this. Now to open your sidebar, simply swipe from the left. You can also customize it. You can add your favorite apps by clicking on this setting button and then add your favorite app by just selecting it. And if you want to delete any app from the sidebar, simply click on this minus button after this Go back now to open your sidebar, simply swipe from this corner. Now it will show all your favorite app. You can use anyone, anywhere while using your phone. And keep in mind, it will open this app in floating window, just like your desktop or your laptop. So now you can keep on using your phone and this floating window will remain opened in the screen. The next gesture is one handed mode as the length of the phone uh, is increasing day by day you can use this feature to use your phone more comfortably firstly you have to enable one hand mode now keep in mind you have to use gesture navigation to use this shortcut to enable this one hand mode now to enable one hand mode simply swipe down from the bottom of the screen and it will open the one hand mode now you can use your phone in a smaller screen now to exit from one hand mode simply tap on this empty space and it will exit the one hand mode by default if you will long press your power button then it will open the voice assistant instead of that power menu to change it back to the power menu simply go to your settings and then scroll down and then click on gestures scroll down and there you will see the option of press and hold power button click on this by default it is selected to digital assistant click on power menu now whenever you will long press your power button it will open your power menu you can also enable this gesture of shaking your phone and turning on and off your flashlight. To do this, simply go to your setting, scroll down and then click on gestures. Again, scroll down. There you will see the option of fast torch. Click on this, enable the use fast torch. And now whenever you will shake your phone like this, it will turn on and turn off your flashlight. Now you can see all the deleted messages from any messenger app like WhatsApp and Facebook without downloading any third party app. Simply go to your settings and scroll down and then click on notification. There you will see the option of notification history. Click on this and enable this. Now whenever any notification will come, even after deleting it, you will be able to see it right over here. Feature is multiple volume by this the phone will remember the volume level of different apps so whenever you will switch from one app to another it will remember that volume and set it to that specific level to enable this simply go to your settings and scroll down and then click on sound and vibration scroll down and then click on multi volume enable this you can double tap to wake and lock your smartphone as well to enable this simply go to your settings scroll down and then click on home and lock screen again click on lock screen scroll down on the bottom you will see the option of bake the display and then click on tapping the display and on the bottom put this display to sleep and then enable this use put the display to sleep now whenever you will double tap on the screen it will lock your smartphone and you will double tap it will wake it up so these were some tips and tricks and hidden feature of moto edge 50 pro smartphone if you like this video then let us know in the comment section 
like this like this video and subscribe to our channel we'll see you in the next one till then have fun